So in the series of learning C programming, we are discussing functions in C. We have discussed function declaration and function definition in detail with proper program and you know uh, some practical also. Now we are left with function calling. So we will here we will discuss two types. You can call function uh, you know by two types call by value and call by reference. These two are very important when it comes to function calling. So this in this video I will talk about call by value and call by reference method to call a function with proper program. I will show you. First of all, you will see the program here, then I will show you practically on my laptop, right. Before that, just want to tell you one thing. If you are looking for a great career in software development, then you must think about the aspects like what's trending in the industry, the questions being asked in the interviews, how to improve your course of ranking. So, an academy brings you a platform where you can get access to weekly shows which you can watch live. And the host of these shows are 7 star coders on CodeShare and are working in the top uh, companies like Google, Amazon, LinkedIn, Flipkart and having years of experience. So they will be covering the content which would be really helpful for your career like in live episodes you can ask tech HR the top questions being asked in the interviews and the industry leaders about the recruitment process, top startups and MNCs, what is the eligibility criteria and how to apply for them. You can also get your resume re reviewed by the experts. Not only this, you can also participate in mock interviews and learn courses on programming languages, cloud computing, blockchain and crypto, data analytics. And have you ever thought about the hiring process of the top startups and MNCs? Then there is a show in which Anuj will host prominent HR leaders of the tech industry and you will get to understand the A to Z recruitment process, internal structures and work culture of top companies, key product offering and interesting projects being worked on by the HRs. So the benefit of this show is what you will hear directly from the companies, their HRs and tech teams on what they are looking for in individuals while acquiring people. So the detail of this show and the batch you will find in the link that I will put in the description box of this video and don't forget to use my code JKL10 to get 10% extra discount on your subscription. So now back to the topic, call by value, call by reference. Before uh, going to this topic, just want to tell you one thing, what is function call? I think uh, if you have watched my previous videos then you are aware about the function calling. There we have, uh, give, uh, we have taken one example of sum, sum of two numbers. So function calling is what? Simply you can pass here, suppose I am passing argument 5 and 7, right? No return type, only function name and the arguments or the value of the arguments or if you do not want to pass directly the value, simply you can also pass the name of the argument like x and y. Here I can take int x is equal to 5, y is equal to 7. Function calling, we are uh, you know calling this in suppose main function. So here you can write down this thing, right? And then definition, you can write down definition and before before using this, if you are writing the definition after this calling here, after this calling then you must have to specify here the function declaration otherwise what error you will get that we have discussed in the video the, uh, in that video uh, when we were discussing function declaration right. And if you define the function first and then you are using main function and you are calling that function in that case no need to declare the function. Right? You will not get any warning or any you know warning like implicit declaration of that, that function. Right? So now here you can call the function by value and by reference. Now what is difference between these two? See simply I am taking uh, this function, I am not taking this function. Suppose I am taking, simply I am taking x is equal to 5, y is equal to 7 and here I am taking a on function name is fun. Right? And here what I want to do, I want to pass x and y. This is function calling, right? Now this is called by value or called by reference that I will discuss. Now here I am defining this function. So I am writing void fun and int x int y. You can take same variable name or you can take different. Suppose I am taking a and b. It's up to you. Or better to take same variable name x and y to get a better understanding of call by value and call by reference method, right. So now in here I am writing x is equal to 7 and y is equal to 5, right. And here I am printing value of x and y, that is it. And after this function calling here also I want to print value of x and y. So now here I am calling this function, so and I am defining this function after calling. So in this case better to declare function first to you know 
avoid to skip that situation implicit declaration of the function that we have already discussed when we were discussing function declaration in C. You must watch out that video first. Right? What kind of error you will get if you not declare the function here. But if you define the function here and after that you are calling that function, there no need, there is no need to declare the function at that time. Right? Because here I am calling the function, here I am using the function and before the use I am not defining and neither I am defining nor I am declaring. We always declare like we when we first use the variables we always declare those variables first. Right? So before using either define that is fine if you do not define then declare that function. So here I am declaring that function void fun and here just write down what the data type of the arguments int int no need to specify the name of the argument like int a int b or if you specify here int a int b that is also fine you will not get any error right. So now whenever you run this program control will go here first of all main function and in RAM some memory would be allocated to this main function. So in main we have x and y two variable x and y in x we have 5 in y we have 7 suppose address is 1000 and is this is 1046 we do not know the address I am just taking it for simplicity purpose. Now next line is I am calling the function fun x y and I am passing x and y see the, the, these are known as arguments or you can say actual parameters right and here and here these x and y this x and y this is known as parameters this x and y is known as arguments in function calling whatever you pass that is known as argument in function definition and function declaration these are known as parameters or parameters are also known as formal parameters and arguments are also known as actual parameters I hope uh, you now this difference is clear to you right because many students get you know confused in this term parameter argument formal parameter actual parameter right. So now here this is function calling so now control will go to the definition of the function and now it is going to match the definition with declaration return type matching function name matching data type of the argument int int matching two arguments we have two uh, here we have both are matching so now whenever control will go to here this function now the some memory would be allocated to this function also right during execution now here we have here also we have x and y so now here in, in this x and y what we have in function calling I am passing value x and y so value of x is 5 and value of y is 7 so in x we have 5 in y we have 7 but now whenever control will enter here now x becomes 7 because I am assigning x is equal to 7 y is equal to 5 and y becomes 5 and I am printing now x and y so what output you will get x is equal to 7 y is equal to 5 see it is not swapping of the uh, you know uh, variables I am just assigning the value swapping that function is different the method is different process is different. So now whenever control will reach to here I am not writing any return statement so this closing braces will act as return void return. So now whenever control will reach to this closing braces the control will go back to where you are calling this function. So here I am calling this function. So now the working of this calling function is over now you have any other line after this yes I have printf this one. So here also I am printing x and y value. So here what value would be printed maybe you are thinking we have changed the value of x and y so it would print 7 and 5 but no here in this x and y what value would be printed whatever the value in this main x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 7. So this is what called by value see whenever I call a student by their name like I am calling Rahul Rahul so I am calling the, the student by his name. If I am calling a student, I do not know the name of the student and I am I'm, uh, you know, calling the name by that uh, you know, red t-shirt. So I am calling the student by the color of the t-shirt or maybe I am calling a, you know, like this the last bencher right. So I am calling the student by the address right. So here call by value means we are calling the function by passing the value only. So here I am passing the value of 5 x and y 5 and 7 so now what the mechanism is what behind the behind the process behind the scene is what what is happening the value would be copied where 
here in these parameters. So here I am taking x and y. You can also take a and b. That is also fine. So these x and y are local to this function only. So the value would be copied 5. First of all 5 would be copied 5 and then here 7 would be copied. Right. But now I am processing. I am doing some processing within this function. Processing is what? In x I am changing. In x I am storing uh, 7. In y I am storing 5. Right. But whatever process you will do on these variables that would be reflected within this scope only because these are local variables. Once control will go out of this function, out of this scope means that reflection would not that that you know that change would not be reflected where here where you are calling this function because this is what here you get copy of these variables. So within this copy only you are changing right that would not be reflected here the actual arguments are here. So that result that change would not be reflected here. It's just a copy of these variables right and these are stored in different different memory location. Memory location is 2000 suppose 2046 and this memory location is different. So if you if you print x and y value here within this function then only you will get this changed value. Once control will reach to here means that change would not be reflected here. So now here x and y values are within this main do you have any x and y value? Yes I have 5 and 7. So here you will get 5 and 7. So this is you can say drawback of call by value. You have done some processing but once control will go back to the calling function all that processing all that change is gone vanished. So that is why we use call by reference. I want whenever I do some processing whenever I do some change in the definition of the function that should be reflected wherever I call that function in that program or in that application that should be reflected here also in calling like in main function if I am calling or in if any other function I am calling that should be reflected everywhere in that program or in that application. If you use call by value that would not be reflected. So to get rid of this situation to solve this problem we use the invented call by reference method. So call by reference reference means address. So you are calling the function by passing the address. Here you are passing the value. Call by reference means here you will pass address. So in this program if you mod, uh, modify this program call by reference. So here we will pass address of x and y means rather than passing 5 and 7 we are passing this address. Address passing if you will do then you will use obviously address of operator address of x address of y right. So if you are passing this means we will whenever function will call this control will come to here this will go to here. So this passing address you are passing means 1000 and 1046. So to store this address this these are normal variables they are not able to store the address. Which variable can store address? Pointer variable that we have discussed. Pointer is a special type of variable that will store address of some other variable. So here rather than defining simply in text and y you have to take pointers. Pointer means just do what asterisk x asterisk y. So maybe you are thinking here x and y are normal variables here these are pointers so this will give error no because scope of these x and y are local to this main means within these curly braces scope of this x and y these pointer variables are within this curly braces. So they are not going to mismatch it is fine they will not give any error. It is like baby this is one house and this is your neighbor house this is your house and in your house suppose you can say Rahul is name of any small kid right and here in your neighbor house Rahul is name of uh, maybe an older person maybe father of the small kids so that is fine obviously they are not going to reflect because both are in different houses 
so it's possible i hope you are able to relate this real life you know example with this problem or maybe not but see now here this x and y now what value would be stored in x and y whenever the control will go here you are passing 1000 so 1000 would be stored in x here you are passing 1046 1046 1046 would be stored in y these are pointer variable now so now here situation is this x is pointing to here this y is pointing to here right so these are now interlinked means whatever change you will do using these addresses that would be reflected here see the 5 and 7 the values are only one there is no other copy like in previous case here we have addresses of these variables so now you cannot directly say x is equal to 7 it will give error because x is now pointer variable you cannot assign any integer value like this so what you can do here here i want to assign 7 and here 5 i want to access this location so using this address how you can access asterisk x asterisk means here it is acting as indirection operator asterisk y is equal to 5 and if you want to print here the value then simply obviously x and y you cannot write if you write x and y in x we have 1000 so it will print address but i want to print the value so asterisk x and asterisk y right here if you want to print no need to write down asterisk x asterisk y because in this one in this main in this scope x and y are simple variable so here simply write x and y no need to write down asterisk x asterisk y if you write down here asterisk x asterisk y it will give error because within this main function x and y are normal variables and asterisk x you are writing means obviously it will give error asterisk x means in direction operator is just a value at this address but in x we have 5 only there is no address like x is normal variable it's not pointer you cannot access like asterisk x so here you will use x and y only but here you will use asterisk x asterisk y i hope you got why this case the difference right so now what is the process now whenever this will call now this value has been uh, address has been stored here now asterisk x means value at this address asterisk x is what 1000 so value at 1000 now 1000 is what this one value at 1000 is 5 so here i am storing 7 so now here i am storing 7 asterisk y value at 1046 here so here i am storing 5 using the pointer i am directly accessing the original values i am directly changing the original values i am not changing the copy right so now here you will print directly asterisk x means value at 1000 is now 7 so 7 would be printed 5 would be printed now control will go back to here once here and the closing this is what closing of this function now the working of this is uh, finished now in next line print f x and y now here x value is what 7 7 would be printed y value is 5 5 would be printed so whatever change you have done within this function now that change has been reflected out of this scope right beyond this scope here you are calling this so here also it is changing the change has been reflected here also so here x is 7 y is 5 so this is what the difference between call by value and call by reference right i hope you got the advantage also uh, the advantages of call by reference right if you want to no if you want uh, that the, the, the whatever processing you whatever change you will do in the definition of the that function that could be reflected in anywhere in the program in the application so you should call the function by reference not call by value or here you can also take like if you don't want to take x and y you can take ptr1 ptr2 that is also fine here you can access asterisk ptr1 asterisk ptr2 so here you will write down what asterisk ptr1 asterisk ptr2 means indirectly you are accessing these values and here simply obviously you write x and y right that is also fine and have one more thing see here also i think you must have noticed the mistake if you have noticed the mistake then please write down in the comment box or i am going to tell the mistake here see here i am 
calling it call by reference i am using so here in the definition part what these are pointer variable but in declaration i am simply writing int and int simple int simple normal variable so it will give error right so here also the data type must be int asterisk int asterisk obviously the pointer in the declaration also because here i am taking pointer so here it should be pointer here also it is int star otherwise it will give error so now let me show you practical of this thing so now let me create a file function call dot c right and here um, first of all what i am declaring a function void fun here i am going to pass just two data type the argument like uh, sorry it's parameter it is known as parameter here and it should be separated by comma right and now here i am writing main function and in main what main what uh, i am doing i am taking int x uh, is equal to 5 and uh, y is equal to 7 right here i am calling fun and i am passing x and y here these x and y are known as arguments and after passing i am printing the value x is equal to percentage d and y is equal to percentage d two values right x comma y right and before this i am writing one more line just to get a better understanding like i am writing inside main or main is also known as here calling function right calling and cold function also i have told you in previous video right and after this i am defining the function so void fun here i am taking parameters in x int y name you can take x y a b c a b m and any name you can take right because these are local to this function only so it doesn't matter so now here what i am writing x is equal to 7 and y is equal to 5 and here also i am printing i am first of all i am writing inside cold function inside of fun and here this fun is what cold function right and main is what calling function and now i am printing the value of x and y now let me run this and see what output you get better to write down here like uh, no uh, for uh, formatting purpose here i'm writing slash n and here also i'm writing slash n right and after this also slash n because i just want that all the these output should be printed in new new lines not in the same line right so see first x and y would be executed this this line would be executed first like this one inside this cold function so that would print x is equal to 7 y is equal to 5 so see x is equal to 7 y is equal to 5 inside fun function cold function inside main function x is still 5 and y is 7 because this is called by value we are just doing some processing the changing in the copy of the original value not in the original value original value is in main function so in main function if you print the original value would be printed that is x and y and that is 5 and 7 right now call by reference so now here i am passing address address of x and address of y right so if you are passing address then here it should be asterisk there should be pointer variable to store that address normal variables cannot store and here i am changing i am accessing the location using pointer so that is why we are using in direction operator and here if you are printing this send then you have to write asterisk asterisk but if you will run it then it will give error because see what error you will get because we are not changing the declaration of the function 
see conflicting type for fun. See here notice what expected int in the third line expected argument should be int but argument is of type int star but see here argument you are actually passing is of type int star because you are passing address so argument is of type int star. So here you have to change this also int star type should be int star because this type should be matching in declaration and definition right. So now run this see inside fun in cold function now x and y are 7 and 5 and inside main also x and y are 7 and 5. Now we are calling by reference by the address so now you are changing the value in the original value in the main function we are accessing the original value by the address right. So this is the difference between call by value and call by reference I hope you got this difference. So now in the next video we will see some problems on functions so now I will see in the next video till then bye bye take care.